more handsome than the Knight of the Bacchanalia. <laughs> if that's possible. Well, I didn't give you proper attention that night. I will make up for it. I had the Bacchanalia. I wish that you could be my date. <laughs> and tonight you are. Emily's things are gone. I packed them last night. So how dare you remove them without my permission? Just you have no right to do that. I want all of her things put back exactly the Nicholas. way you found them. Don't ever touch them again. Nicholas! Yelling at Alfred isn't going to bring Emily back. I just wanted to say goodbye to him before everyone got here. Yeah, me too. You know, just, it doesn't seem real. I wanted to come to the church. If I saw the casket, I thought it would all make sense. I know things are complicated right now. We've both hurt each other in ways we never thought possible. But Nicholas needs us. I'm hoping we can put aside our differences and take care of him together. The way Emily would want us to. I apologize, Alfred, for yelling at you like that. It was completely unacceptable. Would you just please put Emily's things back in their rightful place for me? Certainly, sir. Thank you. crazy, don't you? Demanding that Alfred keep the room exactly the way it was the night of the ball. As if Emily's actually going to come back to it. No, I don't think you're crazy. <laughs> and I think that if you want reminders of Emily around, then you should have them. trying to help, all right? Nicholas, please try and control your anger. Yeah. I'll do anything for you. I'm here to help you. All you have to do is let me. Alexis, I know you mean well. I do. But you can't help me. No one help me. Because Emily's just gone. She's just gone. go to the service together. Help each other through it like we used to. You know, kind of all for one, one for all. <laughs> I always thought that that four musketeer thing was silly. But Emily, she liked it, so. She said we could make it through anything as long as we had each other. I think we at least owe it to her to try. So what do you say? Okay. You're right, she'd want us to be together today. Uh, I don't know 
if I can do this. We'll, we'll all do it together. Let's just go in, sit down, wait for the service to start. You don't have to talk to anyone. Was the was the light of the Quartermain family. And you all became a part of it. Lucky you were you were with her from the beginning. And I don't think that she'd have been able to get through her mother's death from cancer if it hadn't been for you. And Elizabeth, you uh, you were more like a, a sister than a friend. You were always there for. Her. And um, Nicholas, I am. Um, I'm very glad that you chose not to listen to me when I, uh, I tried to chase you out of, of Emily's life. You made her very happy. And uh, to your credit, I am very grateful for that. Thank you. Why are people so gracious about death? Why did Edward thank me when it's my fault Emily's dead? Because she can't blame herself for what happened. She knew I was out of control. She wanted to cancel the ball, but I wouldn't listen. And she was there because of me. the years that I loved her. In the end, she died because of me, so I'm what, I'm supposed to sit here and listen to everyone's condolences? What, what's the point? What good are words if she's dead? How's he doing? He's going to be able to get over this. No, he just needs time to grieve. He'll pull through this. I hope so. Last night, I was making brownies for the boys, and I got to thinking about all the dinners the four of us used to have. Remember that time that Emily volunteered to cook for us? <laughs> and then she practically burned down Kelly's in the process. Yeah. I don't remember which was worse, having to clean out the oven or eat what was inside of it. Could I have a moment with Nicholas, please? I do know that the last few months were the most joyous times for Emily. And that was because of you and Spencer. Oh, she loved you both so much. <laughs> 